Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in the comments below. And today we're going to be looking at some fact families and haunted houses. Now fact families don't have to be that scary if you understand how they work. So let's take a look at a really nice easy example and then use what we've learned to answer the questions on the worksheet. So in this example fact family, we're going to have the numbers 10, 7, and 3. And the way a fact family works is that the numbers inside the fact family either add or subtract to equal one another. For example, 7 plus 3, our two bottom numbers, add together to equal 10. And we can flip that fact and 3 plus 7 also adds together to equal 10. We can also subtract. We can subtract 10 minus 3 and we'll get 7. And if we took 10 and took away 7, can you guess what the answer is? That's right, it's 3. There are some equations that don't belong in the fact families that contain these numbers. For example, if you added 10 plus 3, you're not going to get 7. So 10 plus 3 does not belong in the fact family. And the same goes for 10 plus 7. 10 plus 7 does not equal 3. So this also does not belong in the fact family. Remember to also check your work when making sure an equation belongs inside the fact family. Let's read the directions and get started on our worksheet. Fact family. Haunted houses. Look at these spooky haunted houses. Each house contains the numbers in a fact family. Tick the circles next to the ghost that show the sentences in each fact family. Remember, we're going to have to look carefully to make sure that these facts belong inside the fact family. So let's take a look at our first fact family. We have 20, 5, and 15. I always like to make my fact family triangle on my extra paper so that way I can really visualize what belongs inside the fact family. So let's take a look at this first problem. 20 minus 14. Hmm. Already I'm starting to think to myself, this one doesn't belong inside the fact family because I see the number 14. And that's not a part of my fact family. So already, I know that's not correct. Let's look at the next one. 15 plus 5. Okay, I see these two numbers on the bottom. So let's go ahead and add 15 plus 5 and see if we get our other number inside the fact family, which is 20. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 15 plus 5 does equal 20. So this equation, in fact, does belong inside of our fact family. Let's check the next one. 20 minus 5. Okay, I see that these numbers also belong inside my fact family, but let's do the subtraction just to make sure. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. 20 minus 5 is 15. So again, that's our other number inside the fact family. I'm pretty confident that 20 minus 5 belongs inside our fact family. Let's take a look at another problem. We have 13 plus 5. Again, the number 13 does not belong inside my fact family, so I know this is not an equation that belongs inside my fact family. Let's look at the next problem. 20 minus 6. Again, I see that 6, and that the 6 is not a 20, a 5, or a 15. So this does not belong inside my fact family. And finally, we have 20 minus 15. And if I count it up from 15 to 20, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, I have an answer of 5. And again, those three numbers, 5, 15, and 20, 5, 15, and 20, all belong in my fact family. So 20 minus 15 is an equation that belongs inside my fact family. 
Let's take a look at the second fact family on our worksheet. We have another fact family triangle that's represented by the numbers 14, 8, and 6. Remember, these numbers should add or subtract to equal one another inside the fact family. So let's take a look at our first problem, 8 plus 6. Okay, 8 plus 6 is... 8 plus 6 are two numbers that are inside the fact family, but let's make sure they add together to equal 14. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 8 plus 6 equals 14, and these are the three numbers inside our fact family, so I believe that this is correct. Our next problem is 14 minus 8. Again, 14 and 8 are two numbers that belong inside the fact family, but let's subtract to make sure that the answer is 6. Let's count up. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Again, we have our answer of 6. So again, I know that these three numbers are inside my fact family, so this is correct. Let's look at the next problem, 8 plus 5. Ah, the number 5 does not belong in my fact family, so immediately I know this is not correct. Same goes for our next problem, 9 plus 6. The number 9 is not in our fact family, so I know this is not correct either. Moving along, we have 14 minus 6, two numbers that are in our fact family, but let's subtract just to make sure they equal 8. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 minus 6 is 8, and again, those are the three numbers represented in our fact family, so this is correct. And lastly, we have 14 minus 5, and the number 5 does not belong in our fact family, so we know this is not correct. Remember, boys and girls, look to make sure all the numbers belong inside the fact family, and then add or subtract them together to make sure they equal the last number inside the fact family. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.